Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. So this is a new updated tier list which includes um, Mouseir Shadowka, Tess Kotkin, and you have Katja Klein. So this is for January 2024. And let's start off this tier list with tier C. So we have here Nita, and I, I nearly called her Tina. Nita and Haru for tier C. Not much really to cover, not much of a change in terms of uh, from my, tier, my previous tier list. Although I think, um, I'm not sure if they're gonna go up sometime, but definitely they are right now at tier C. No um, details on that. So tier B, I have here Frisha Hush. Um, again, Frisha Hush's kit is, I think for me is limited at this point. She's gonna be useful as mainly as a support. Um, Mauxer here as a support as well, especially if you don't have her um, her S for her um, orange tier. Frisha, um, on the other hand, the the lower tier, the four star tier, is actually very still serviceable. Still, if you are, especially if you're beginning this game, you can actually begin with her. Frisha has really. I'm uh, gonna go back to her. She really requires a lot of investment in her kit. So I'm really, really putting her at tier B. Life here, very fun character. Tier B. Fenny, uh, four star is also here. And Marion, four star is here. Enya and Cherno is actually here. Um, Enya, sad to say, has been replaced by another operative in terms of Yao's best friend. So she remains at um, tier B. Um, and Cherno uh, remains at tier B as well. So those are my two tiers, guys. Um, if you have any questions and comments for the previous two tiers, that I'm, the, the current two tiers that I'm discussing, please put them down in the comment section. I'd be glad to answer them there. Next would be tier A. We have Marion Swift for tier A. Um, in this tier, you have a lot of supports here. Including Yao for healing, Shen Sheng for healing as well, but a lot of goodies in her bag. So most of the supports are here. Akasha is also a good operative to have, decent in the mid game. That is why she's here. She also has um, good um, ultimate energy recovery. And the last is Ceres if you are in need of a shield for your team. Okay, so that is for tier A. Next, we go to tier S. So tier S is where I think you guys should invest more on these characters. So these characters have a different ceiling depending on if you have invested in their manifestation or not. Life Wild Hunt, while she is here in tier S, she could be tier S, S especially if she is all decked out. Um, complete manifestations she has tremendous damage for her standard skill but again she requires a lot of love and a lot of copies that is why i'm gonna put her at tier s tess is going to replace um akasha here because of the ultimate energy recovery you know theme within their kit that is why she is in tier s with uh, life um, Tess is definitely going to be situational. She's not a support for everyone or for every operative. But if she, if you use her correctly, she is going to be great for your team. Next up is going to be Haru Abskonditus for tier SS. Um, I think so far um, she's the she's the, she's the greatest mob. You know mob killer mob sweeper in the game I, I i cannot think of anybody close to her at this point she has good damage very good damage with her pistol though and i suggest you you know you build her if you have her right now uh max here shadowka i'm actually hesitant to put her in tier ss although she complements shotguns and snipers very well especially for yao um, but again, uh, I might say that her use is pretty limited, but once you use her, she gives you a lot 
of or a great a great value towards your operative especially if you run her as support so again she's one of the top supports that we have in the game massive damage if you pair her with a shotgun and also with a, a sniper rifle but it goes down drastically uh, in terms of damage output for the other um, types of weapons and last for tier ss you have katcha blue bolt so our new operative okay my thoughts on katcha why put her here number one the fun factor the easy factor for her kit I think uh, mo mobile and PC will have a fun time using her. You don't really need to bother yourself with reloading. All you have to concentrate is reposition, use her standard skill, and shoot. That is it. Probably heal, probably have some buffs uh, for support or other things for support. But she definitely can put down a lot of bosses, I tell you. Especially if you play her well time her dodges, time, her standard skill. Uh, I know that in her standard skill, her damage is actually uh, is actually halved, almost halved, like 48%. But definitely, it makes up for her, um, you know, for the speed of her shots. So, again, if you level up her M1, it will really, really give you more you know more frequency or speed to her shots for her basic shot and also for her standard skill shot so again although she doesn't have the best damage but the volume of her shots will definitely catapult her to ss tier now with all of the buffs that we have recently for her definitely she's staying in ss tier and the last tier is going to be sss so this tier are the goddess tier. I, I, I hope you are not disappointed with my selections. We have Chen Xing, DPS goddess. What can I say? Um, hands down. Uh, again, a lot of damage for this girl, especially if multiple weakness on a boss. Definitely have her bring her a lot of damage. Next up is going to be Yao Winter Souls. This so... Yao definitely is going to have a have better days ahead with the uh, Mauxir Shadow Ka. So definitely have her as one of your primary damage dealers. Again, really depends on the playstyle if you're into a sniper or not. But if you're into a sniper, definitely you'll have a you know you'll have a field day in dealing a lot of damage. Next up is going to be Fanny Coronet. Fanny definitely still is one of the top damage dealers her only limitation actually is the reload which i really really hate but the damage output and if you really know how to time your reload and your shots and your dodge definitely you do a lot of damage with fenny um really really dps goddess at this point and the last is going to be akasha kaguya so akasha kaguya best all-around support um i don't think she has a limitation on which team you should bring her the others really have limitations like for example shadow ka and tess kotkin but for her kasha kaguya i don't think you have a limitation with her she has one of the best debuffs in the game and what can i say uh it has a lot of you know bells as well in keeping your enemies together lowering down their elemental resistance and that is it guys so hopefully you are happy with the tier list that i put together um also i'll be putting a link to the description of this video just in case you want to look at it more often so i'll put a link in the description of the video as for quick reference so again guys comment down in the comment section did i get this right also please do put your in your inputs so that, and I really, really appreciate it. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.